gang, it's Grandma Bev from Life with Grandma Bev, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are just tuning in for the first time, I do videos on a lot of other different subjects too, so make sure you check some of those out by subscribing. <laughs> but this week I'm doing a recap of uh, 90 Day Fiance the Other Way. And this is what episode three. Now remember, these are all my opinions. They were my crazy brain acts, you know, thanks. <laughs> Let's put that in my notes. So, uh, you know, we'll only be doing the uh, couples who were featured last night. That's, otherwise, we don't know anything about the others. But here's my opinion. <laughs> we'll start with Julio and Kirsten. Well, as you know, She's from the Netherlands, and she's come over to meet his family, and then supposedly they're going to go back, and he's going to go with her to live there. Now, he hasn't told his mom any of this, just he's going to be moving there, not that it's going to just be in a couple of weeks, and he also hasn't told his mom that much about Kirsten or how long they've been going together. So when she hears this, this kind of troubles her a little bit, you know, because, uh, you know, she, she's been talking about him ever since she met him a year ago. <laughs> But you got to remember, he's a guy. <laughs> so uh, let's see. He says three months while he's talking. You know, they, they meet with his family for dinner. And uh, somehow three months gets mentioned, but he doesn't make a correction, right? He also says that he already replied for his residential papers or residential visa, whatever they call it there, to go live there. And that kind of surprises his mom because she only just heard about Kirsten in the past several weeks or so. And so while he's explaining all this to his mom, who isn't real happy, uh, Kirsten's looking very uncomfortable because she doesn't want his mom to hate her because, you know, he, she took him away from his mama. But, you know, mama, they do that. You know, I mean... All my kids left. <laughs> and I was a cool mama. <laughs> but, you know, it is very hard. Very, very hard. Especially your sons tend to get busy with the other woman in their life. And so mom is not as prominent on their list. <laughs> in some cases. So let's see what if anything else on there. No. Oh, and what, what I wondered about was... She kept speaking in, in Spanish or whatever, wherever they're from. And and then sometimes in English. So she's lived there that many years in New York, out on the island. Why is she still speaking Spanish? I mean, yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But I just thought for living there as long as she did, maybe she should have been speaking a little more English to, to Kirsten. <laughs> also, Kirsten can understand all right, well, let's move to, let's see, I'm kind of going to the ones that were, had, were, had the simplest things going on. Wayne and Holly. Now, when we last saw Wayne and Holly, Holly and her mom had just arrived in Africa, North Africa, or whatever it is, South Africa, <laughs> Africa. And uh, according to uh, her mom, she's going to stay there three months. <laughs> well, on the sidelines, um, Wayne's saying that as soon as they get married, he wants Mama to go home. <laughs> so uh, he takes them out to their house. And, of course, Mama went not only just to see her daughter get married, but she wants to make sure she's going to be safe there because apparently it's not uncommon to have break-ins quite often <laughs> in your home. So he takes them to their house. First they go through an area, though, that... And she says, oh, what's that over there? And he goes, oh, those are squatters. Well, okay, well, it's not like his house is there. Don't worry about it. <laughs> People got to live somewhere. <laughs> so I thought the area he drove into looked very nice. And I even saw a gate, though. His, she says it's not a gated area. but So this, this man has gone through a lot of updates and things in his home to... Make it feel safe for Holly and Holly's mama. Uh, he shows him a contraption he's been working on in the garage. So if somebody opens up his garage, they're going to spray it with pepper spray. <laughs> I 
I don't wonder if that's legal. Well, the states it might not be, but <laughs> I just wonder. What if somebody, though, opens it by mistake, not realizing that it's been left turned on and they get sprayed? Not too pleasant. And he talks about the uh, the power outages. I guess the parent. Oh, so the man walks by <laughs> the window here. Amazon. Okay. So when you don't expect it, and all of a sudden, whoop, oops. <laughs> Whew. Okay. My heart can stop racing. Um, they have power outages or you know blackouts every day to conserve on energy. And I guess he said there's different levels. I go, oh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or whatever. And he's level eight, which means that his power will be off at least about eight hours a day. And I thought, whoa, that's extreme. So I, I kind of alarmed them a little bit. <laughs> no point in having an alarm on your house because <laughs> if it doesn't work, it's the power's off. And then we also found out when he took her in the backyard to show her the the, the pool, he mentioned the other dog that the last time someone broke in, they killed the dog. So she was crying. She couldn't handle it. <laughs> kind of a baby anyway. And had to go back and couldn't even look at the pool. <laughs> I guess he had two dogs because there's still one dog there. And she really got involved with them uh, when she was visiting him before. So that was sad. Why do people have to do that? I'm a big animal lover, so. <laughs> and let's see. Uh, Mom says she slept like a log, but that she feels it's not safe there for Holly and that they need to look for a, a place in a uh, gated community. Well, you know, you still can have break-ins in gated communities because people find ways to go over fences and things like that, you know. <laughs> All right, well, let's move to Kim and TJ. Now, remember, TJ lives in Israel. Okay, so Kim, but they show her she's on the plane and ready, and she landed with her. Was that the other night or last week? At any rate, <laughs> she's greeted at his place by his parents, you know, his mom and dad and brother, and they're all happy to see her and everything. Father looks a little uncomfortable, but we find out from uh, TJ before they arrive that families up to 12 can live in a house, you know, as long as they love each other, you know. And, and he mentions how he, his brother and mother, sleep with his mother upstairs. <laughs> I'm thinking, how old are these boys? And the father sleeps downstairs on, I think it's the floor of the couch, because he and his mother got an argument 20 years ago <laughs> and haven't slept in the same room since. Um, okay. So it sounds like it is great to have everybody live together. <laughs> oh. So he takes Kim upstairs and there's all these stairs they go up. <laughs> A lot of stairs. And uh, she stands in the... Entryway when they, you know, the bedroom when they get in, just goes, oh. I mean, it's written all over her face. She's disappointed. She hates the bathroom. She thinks the door is in the wrong place, that the door is facing out to the living room, or where there isn't a door, and there's no glass in the window yet. <laughs> and people can see her, and she keeps talking about, how's she going to take a pee, as she puts it, you know. Or, it just hates it. She's just pointing out every little thing. I mean, like where maybe the baseboards were shortened by about that much. I mean, it's, it's a kind of thing you do, like if you just bought it, you know, had a new house built and you were doing the walkthrough and you had to catch everything so that they could fix it. And here he was so proud of everything. He felt like he did everything the way she wanted and he was so proud and she just... Cut him to heck. To the point where he really got the point of saying, well, don't marry me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I couldn't believe because she seemed like such a sweet gal, you know, in all the other clips we'd seen of her. And boy, she gets there and she just turned into mega bitch. <laughs> Remember, girl? This is a different culture from what you're used to being pampered in. 
He's doing what he thought was so good for her. Well, I guess from the previews, it continues next week, so I'm anxious to see that. Whew. And finally, we get to Brandon and Mary. Now, remember, when we last saw them last week, he was flying, and she was so mad because there were a girl. There was a girl in his row, and so he got moved to another row. Thank God there were empty rows. Every flight we go on is always capacity. <laughs> so, you know, she said, "You know, don't come. I'm done." Right? Well, of course, he's almost there. You got to keep coming. So, ah, uh, let's see. What do I have down here made up? Oh, they made up. <laughs> Before he got there. So we get to see her grandparents because apparently she and her brother were raised by her grandparents. And they say, uh, are you going to do it with Brandon right away? <laughs> and she kind of asks, do what? Or we all knew. So the grandpa tells them that you know, she's got, he's got to ask their permission to either hug her or even kiss her. So no kissing, no hugging at the airport or anything, right? And she talks about how, you know, she's, she's so jealous and that her, her last boyfriend cheated on her 10 times and she took him back each time, forgave him. And that's why she's so insecure. Well, if she never kissed him or hugged him, no wonder. <laughs> Doesn't sound like they're really boyfriend and girlfriend, you to our way of thinking. Whew. So, we, we see that they're on the way to the airport. She and the grandpa had her brother go with her for chaperone, right? And it's three hours from where they live to the airport. Wow. <laughs> so, they're at the airport and... And the brother says he understands, you know, she's going to kiss someone and you know, that kind of stuff. Because apparently her brother had some children out of wedlock. <laughs> and the parents didn't talk, the grandparents didn't talk to him for a long time. But, you know, they're back in good graces now. <laughs> See, try to keep kids from doing stuff. They're going to do it anyway. Get caught. <laughs> uh, so he finally gets off the plane, goes and freshens up, brushes his teeth, which I thought was very considerate. <laughs> And he walks out, and she's just, and he runs up, and there's like a little fence between them, and they're hugging, and they start kissing, and, you know, kissing, 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 I mean kissing a lot. And her brother is recording it. <laughs> I wonder if that will get shown to her grandparents. <laughs> think there will be fallback from that? Oh, well, I don't think she cares. So... She uh, says that that was her first kiss. So that's how we knew that her other relationship was not a real relationship <laughs> to our customers. <laughs> uh, let's see. And uh, Brandon says, I'm going to finally turn off the phone. <laughs> he finally gets to turn the phone off because he won't have to be recording day-to-day, everyday life <laughs> for her to keep an eye on him. <laughs> Poor kid. So, uh, I guess she has told him that when she meets, he meets her grandparents, she takes her hand and put it to his forehead, to their forehead, to his hand to their forehead, something like that. <laughs> Just kind of weird. But they did hug him, which I thought was strange. But uh, the grandpa finally asked, uh, so what did he do when he first saw Mary? That kid has the most uncomfortable look on his face. <laughs> and so that's where we'll end it. <laughs> I don't know about these two. I mean, they're cute. She's really a cute little gal. You know, but that has nothing to do with it. <laughs> so, what y'all think? Are they going to uh, get caught by the grandparents? Uh, is Kim going to just totally ruin their relationship? <laughs> she about everything. And uh, what's going to happen with Julio and Kirsten, Wayne and Holly? Well, stay tuned because you know I'll be back on here next week. 
please comment below, share, like, and subscribe to my videos so you don't miss out on when I post this. You'll see it come through in your notes. And of course, make yourself public too. <laughs> I hope you're having a terrific week. I love you all. Bye.